All right, what's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So today, uh, when the Japanese players logged in, there was a new post which gave them a link to this website, which is a brand new questionnaire. Now, throughout the duration of One Piece Treasure Cruise, there have been a couple of questionnaires, definitely more on the JP side of things. Global hasn't had many of these, but I know in JP, uh, they've had a, quite a few of these. And this is a brand new uh, situation where people can go ahead, log on here. You do have to have a Japan account in order to complete this survey, by the way. And by going ahead and completing it, those that did complete the survey will be given five gems after the uh, implementation of this survey, which is until July 5th. So if you have a Japan account, make sure to grab the ID so you can go ahead and put it here on this website. I'll leave a link to this survey down below in the description. Uh, you need to go ahead and replace the, uh, the specific code at the end with your specific ID for One Piece Treasure Cruise Japan in order for this to uh, work properly. So, in this video today, we're going to go through all these survey questions, kind of determine what they're trying to be doing with these questions, and just give my thoughts and opinions about them. So, uh, if you guys want to go ahead and do it for yourself, you have a Japan account, as I said, links down below in the description. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So, first of all, select your gender, of course, and age, yep, and your occupation, well, I'll just say student for now, and where... When did you play One Piece Treasure Cruise? Obviously, this is translated from Japanese. Obviously, it's going to be all in Japanese, so you need to have some sort of way to translate it if you don't speak Japanese yourself. So, uh, when did you start playing One Piece Treasure Cruise? I continued to play before the 6th anniversary. Uh, you replayed at the 6th anniversary. You started playing for the first time on the 6th anniversary and resumed playing from the 6th anniversary, uh, obviously, before it. Um, I'd like to ask those who answered in the previous question that they started playing again or started playing for the first time on the 6th anniversary uh, Thanksgiving. How did you start playing or like basically how did you find the game? So there's lots of different options here. Um, obviously answer, answer truthfully for this kind of thing. Um, but the first time that I got introduced into One Piece Treasure Cruise, obviously a lot of my answers to this won't really matter that much because I never really played during the 6th anniversary that much. I did the summons of course, but you know, I didn't really play all that much. Um, but when I first personally got into One Piece Treasure Cruise was from Boris Anime uploading videos of it first. So I would say from YouTube, because that's where I first saw the game, which was from Boris on YouTube. So that's pretty cool. Uh, can we select multiple? No, we can only select one. Okay, I guess I'm going to select uh, YouTube then. Uh, the next one says, was the event and campaign volume appropriate during the 6th anniversary Thanksgiving. Right, so I think this is just referring to was there enough content during the celebration period? Now, personally, from looking outside in, there really wasn't that much content that players really had to do during the 6th anniversary on JP. Prior to the actual big Sugo Fest dropping, there was a Raid Crocodile, and there was like a Kizuna Carrot that came out a week before the Sugo Fest. While the Sugo Fest was out, there was like nothing really. I mean, they had the Colosseum Kizaru, which was like two weeks prior or something like that. But the, during the actual like celebration, there was only like one event to farm the free-to-play Akainu and free-to-play Cavendish. They had the treasure map after the Sugo Fest concluded. And then they moved into the after party with Kid. Like, there really wasn't that much content. Honestly, I would say there was not enough content during the 6th anniversary period. And I think many players on JP would probably agree to that. So, please tell us uh, about the good events during the 6th anniversary, right? So, you got the Pirate Festival. Yeah, the Pirate Festival was, was active prior to the anniversary and all throughout the anniversary as well. So, that was honestly a pretty good uh, pretty good event. Colosseum Kizari, I mean, that's pretty typical. I mean, I wouldn't really tick that. You know, new clash. Treasure Map Luffy, I liked what they did with Treasure Map Luffy. They uh, decreased the amount of stages per boss, which made it faster to clear, um, which was kind of annoying because it meant that you actually got less limit break materials for doing that. But the rest of the events surrounding it the rewards were very very good for the for the treasure map versus luffy so i would probably leave it leave it as being one of the better events during the anniversary and also the treasure hunt which i believe was for the akainu and the cavendish which was very very good and then it says what was not good during the sixth anniversary um i guess nothing like nothing was really bad they just needed more more events to actually do in my personal opinion um, please tell us your impressions of the Kizuna battle, which is the, the team Kizuna battle, Luffy and Boa Hancock. So I made a video about this um, like last week or something, just talking about uh, the Luffy and Boa Hancock dual unit that is available in the team Kizuna clash. Global should be receiving our first uh, team Kizuna clash probably, I don't know, maybe two months time, maybe. Um, it looks really, really interesting. Um, so what are, what are the options here? It was very fun. It was fun usually. Uh, so obviously the translation is a little off here. It wasn't fun, not fun, not participating. Uh, I'd say it's probably just fun. Uh, from Again, looking from outside in, it looked relatively fun. 
Please answer if you have any points to improve the team battle versus Luffy and Boa Hancock. Multiple answers if possible. Okay, so... So the first option is I want to create a team more easily. I don't think that should be selected. I think team composition was easy. Uh, I want my friends to help them fly. I don't know what this means specifically. I want you to make the rewards that the team gets more luxurious. That would be nice, actually. We want you to enhance the team community chat function. That would be pretty cool as well, being able to um, talk with your team, especially if you're put into a random team. Uh, communicating with those people is very difficult. Uh, you know, Obviously, if you're creating your own team with people on Discord or online or IRL people, it's a lot easier to communicate with those people. But, you know, as I said, if you're randomly put into a team, like if you don't make a team with other people that you know and you are put in just a random team, that is very difficult to communicate with those people. I want you to extend the team creation period. I don't think that's necessary. I want you to enhance the team rank, uh, e.g. implement higher ranks. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I want you to evaluate your hard work within the team ranking. Yes, that would be nice because it'd be cool because like normally at this point in time, the team Kizuna is like team versus team. And yeah, there is a ranking within the team to see who did more work. But if there was an overall ranking between individual players, that would definitely, you know, promote more playing of the Team Kizuna Clash, which would obviously enhance the amount of points your team would get, right? That makes a lot of sense. So that would be pretty cool. Uh, please tell us about your uh, your first impressions of the Pirate Festival. Um, I think that at the moment, it is pleasant. Uh, I don't think it's like very fun because obviously it's, it's a grindy event. It, it's going to get to a point where it's not fun. But at this current point in time, I would say it's relatively pleasant. But there is stuff still wrong with it, in my personal opinion. Um, yeah, what would you like to do to improve Pirate Festival? So if you guys don't know, Pirate Festival is the PvP functionality that's coming to global probably within the next two to three months. So look forward to that. So there are a lot of options that I would really like to improve here. So I want to battle with real, with real friends. Yes, I would love that. I want to freely battle with others, uh, with other users many times. That would be nice too. I want uh, to know popular formations and popular characters. That would be a fantastic option as well. I want to check more detailed information about your opponent, e.g. Uh, win rate of the opponent. I don't think that's necessary. I don't think they need to do that. I would like to try various formations, including characters that I do not have. Uh, I don't really know what how they would even implement that like characters that you don't have like a test function I mean that would be pretty cool. Uh, it'd be cool if you could like just test new characters But not actually use them in actual PvP. I think that'd be ridiculous and another thing that I would like um, uh, Then again, this is gonna be in English So I guess I'll use Google Translate to go ahead and fix this up real quick So hopefully that's this this is conveyed correctly But basically what I'm saying is is every time or every single day You'll get up to three clears per day and that's all you can do And if you want to refresh that you have to use one rainbow gem for an additional three clears in my personal opinion Three clears per day is not enough, and I feel like it should be at least five. Five, in my opinion, would be a lot better, especially because if you're spending consistent rainbow gems to try and rank up, you know, if, if you go ahead and fail a run, like if you lose against an opponent, you just lose so many ranks, and then you have to use additional gems to get back the, the ranks that you lost, and it's just terrible. I think five would be a much more fairer option compared to three. That's my personal opinion, and I think they should probably take that on board. I think a lot of players would probably agree with that fact. I think more than three clears per day would be nice. Okay, so what kind of event would you like to have when you hold a joint event with One Piece Treasure Cruise Global Edition in the future? Multiple answers possible. Okay, this is pretty big, right? So the first one says confrontation with the global version, e.g. World Clash. We'll get to that in a second. Cooperation with the global version, achieve one mission together, Yes, 110%. And don't ask for events with the global version. I hope JP players don't select that. Like, that's... Oh, come on, bro. Don't be like that. But uh, as for the first one, if you guys remember the World Clash back in the day, do I have the link for that website still? So it looks like I don't have the website anymore. The website's actually been taken down, which is unfortunate. But what happened was, is it was the Korean, the English, and the French version of the game versus just the Japanese version. And the Japanese version whipped our ass, and it was really, really bad. Um, the JP version, because they won all five of the of the islands, they got like a bunch of additional rewards because of it. So I assume the, the Japanese version will probably select this just because they know they're going to win. But it would be also nice if we had this type of functionality as well. Honestly, I would still like to see either version of the of either the World Clash or a cooperative mission both of those i'd still be happy with even if you know it is a world clash again and global gets destroyed once again i i don't care i just like the fact that they are trying to bring both versions together for a collaborative event that would be epic 
Um, I just hope that they do that in the future. And I feel like you're just stupid if you select don't have a cooperation event. I feel like that's the dumbest thing ever. But anyways, uh, did you participate in the Twitter retweet campaign for the 10 consecutive free? Yeah, okay, participated, of course. Please tell us how much you, you read the original comic of One Piece every single week. I read it every single week. I'm up to date with the manga. And then uh, tell us how much you watch One Piece anime. Well, I watch every single week that it's available. And it says, please tell us the kind of content you are touching on One Piece other than the app games. Select up to three. Well, I buy figurines from Japan every now and again. Uh, I don't really use the Gashapon machines, lottery, nothing special. Sho I don't even know what Shokugan is. Okay, so I looked it up. Shokugan is basically like more figurines, I suppose, but like miniature figurines. Home games. I guess yeah, yeah if, if home games counts as like the actual console games then yeah and prize goods yeah that i do purchase prize goods sometimes and that's about that's basically about it and please tell us the information you get related to one piece uh what do i get my information from i go to onepiece.com sometimes weekly shonen jump of course uh the magazine instagram twitter account yep following the twitter of course and do you want to send information to your line account no uh, do you want to hold a real event sponsored by the operation, such as a fan meeting for the future One Piece Treasure Cruise? That is exciting. I always love it when they go ahead, go above and beyond, and produce those IRL events. That is awesome, and I, I really, really do enjoy that a lot. I want you to carry it out. I would rather, I would rather carry it out. Neither. I don't want you to. No. We want that to happen. We 100% want that to happen. Uh, do you want to collaborate with One Piece related goods on future One Piece Treasure Cruise? Yes, any collaboration is awesome, 100%, right? Something that I glossed over as well, um, it says, how much do you read the original comic of One Piece? Definitely select that you do read this, uh, that you do read the One Piece manga. Um, if you are anime only, obviously that does kind of suck. You should probably stay up to date with the manga because the manga is fantastic. But this would show the, the, the developers that, you know, that there are a large majority of people that read the manga. And if we show that there are a large majority of people that do read it, then that would say to them that potentially we should put in some of those manga only characters um, a lot quicker before they arrive in the anime now of course for anime only is yeah, that would kind of suck i mean like sober mask and snake man as i said a bit earlier were revealed a lot earlier in uh, in one piece treasure cruise before their anime debut but it definitely just builds so much hype around the characters when sober mask released he was insanely hype right when snake man first released insanely hype just imagine if they if they reveal Odin, it, Kazuki Odin in, in One Piece Treasure Cruise, man. It would be insane. And there's just, I'm not going to go into, into manga spoiler territory, but there are a bunch of characters that would be awesome to see in Treasure Cruise, but we just have to wait for them to be revealed in the anime first. But if they did this, it would show to them that we want to see some manga characters, right? For sure. But that's basically it. I think I've answered every single question. Uh, I don't really have much else to say other than the fact that in PvP, more than three tries per day would be... Would be a great great opportunity i hope that global gets a gets a um a questionnaire like this in the future we'll go ahead to the confirmation page submit all of our answers and that's about it i think there's a confirmation confirm and send there we go so uh that's going to wrap up this video today guys as i said if you guys want to do this for yourself i'll leave a link down below in the video description so you can uh go ahead and check it out for yourself uh, make sure to answer them and uh let the developers know what you want to see in one piece treasure cruise japan and you know stuff that arrives on japan will likely arrive to global at a later date so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today and if you guys did make sure to leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video video.